The tale of Donald Trump, Deutsche Bank, the Kremlin, and the Buffalo Bills football team continues to grow stranger. Weeks ago, Michael Cohen publicly accused Trump of lying to the bank about his financial situation in the hope of convincing it to loan him the money to buy the team. Now it turns out the bank knew Trump was lying but was willing to loan him the money anyway. Wait, what? This isn't something that banks do, period. Even corrupt banks don't do this kind of thing because there's nothing to be gained here. If Donald Trump had managed to buy the Buffalo Bills, his crippled financial situation would have prevented him from being able to keep the team operational. So he would have had to either dump the team in a fire sale or declare yet another bankruptcy. Either way, Deutsche Bank would have lost its shirt on the deal. This leads us back to the central question of Donald Trump and Deutsche Bank. Why would a major bank keep putting itself in financial peril by continuing to make bad loans to a broke criminal who wasn't paying the money back? The answer keeps coming back to Deutsche Bank's status during the same time frame as a massive launderer of Russian money. It's not difficult to surmise that Vladimir Putin has been using Deutsche Bank to funnel money to Donald Trump as a way of controlling him. The loans were never intended to be paid back. So when Deutsche Bank agreed to put itself in a bad financial situation by knowingly loaning Trump the money to buy a Buffalo Bills team he couldn't afford to keep afloat, it had to have been at Putin's behest. On some direct or indirect level, Putin was trying to use Trump to buy an NFL football team.